a plus b whole the power of 4 equal to a to the 4 plus b to the 4. We want to analyze this and see under what condition this equation will be satisfied. So in first step, you should know something plus something to the power of 4 is what? Call it binomial theorem and you should memorize it. Also it has formula for n. It is x to the 4 plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y to the 4. And if you apply it here, left hand side will be a to the 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus b to the 4 equal to a4 plus b to the 4. Okay, now we have a to the 4 on both sides and also b to the 4 on both sides. So, we can say that we subtract a to the 4 plus b to the 4 on both sides. So, left hand side will be 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed equal to 0. Before solving the rest of the solution, here also you can guess some answers. If a is 0, it's okay because both sides will be 0. Both sides will be b to the 4. Also, if b to the 0, b equal to 0, both sides will be a to the 4. So these are our two answers. But we should see that do we have any other answer or not. Okay, in next step, we divide both sides by 2. Left hand side will be 2a cubed b plus 3a squared. I am thinking of let's not divide by 2 because again we want to use something again we should multiply by 2 you will understand let's factorize and let's factor from 2ab first and first part 2a squared will be left then second one 3ab next one 2b squared some of them equal to 0 and then here as i said we can consider apply 2 inside the from first, we could factor from AB. It will be 4A squared plus 6AB is 4B squared equal to 0. Now, we have product of three terms. First term, second term, and third term equal to 0. So, first term equal to 0, or second term equal to 0, or third term equal to 0. If first part equal to 0, it is case 1. We've considered that. B equal to 0 also, we've checked that. Or second term equal to 0. If second term equal to 0, it is third case. In third case, 4a squared plus 6ab plus 4b squared equal to 0. For solving this part, we use a famous identity that x plus y squared equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. And I want to apply it here. We have 6ab. I can write for 4a squared, I consider 3a squared, then I consider 6ab, then I consider 3b squared, but because we have 4a squared, I should add a squared and also b squared equal to 0. For first part, if we factor from 3, it will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared plus a squared plus b squared equal to 0. Now, in next step, I know a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. I want to use this. It is 3 times a plus b squared plus a squared plus b squared equal to 0. Now, each term is at least 0. a squared, 3 times a plus b squared, a squared, b squared. They are non-negative numbers. If you add some non-negative numbers, and there's some equal to zero we conclude each part should be zero so in this case we conclude a plus b should be zero a should be zero and b should be zero all terms so both of them in third case we've concluded that a should be equal to b equal to zero but we've calculated that in previous cases okay so we've solved this problem is correct only for the case in real numbers that a equal to 0 or b equal to 0. Now, let's solve one more part. We know that 
a plus b to the 4 equal to a to the 4 plus b to the 4. And we've concluded that a is 0 or b is 0. Now I consider that, for example, suppose in real numbers we've concluded that suppose a and b are integers and a and b are between, for example, 100 and negative 100. And we want to calculate how many answers are there in this case. It's good. It's, you can say, a counting problem. Useful in many problems. So you say, if a equal to 0, pause the video and try to find the answer by yourself first. If a equal to 0, b has 201 case. Plus, if b equal to 0, then a is from negative 100 to 100. 100 negative numbers. 100 positive numbers plus 1 case, that is 0. But the answer is not 200 plus 200, it's not 402, some of them. Because we calculated A equal to 0, B equal to 0 twice. So we should subtract by 1. And it will be 402 minus 1, which equal to 401. And it is our answer. And as homework, consider that A and B are integers for this problem. And A and B are from negative n to positive m, which m and n are positive integers. Try to find number of answers satisfy this equation in terms of m and n. Okay, if you had question, there are some formulas that are important, identities, binomial theorem, a lot of things that are useful from basic level up to IMO and useful in many math exams. If you want in trans exam for universities, if you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.